right, people. Thanks for uh, tuning in to Doc Talk episode two. It's going to be a little bit, uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different than uh, you can see me outside Emily here, eh? Nice view. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit different than the last one. Um, we, uh, we won't start with any questions, so you don't have to ask me any questions. We're going to go straight to our first guest. It's just going to work out better that way. Uh, and we got a sponsor, guys. Pretty nice. So let me give a shout out to Pepsi, first sponsor of Doc Talk. Appreciate that. Pepsi, that's what I like. All right, that's great. Yeah, first uh, first sponsor, many more welcome. We're going to head now to our first guest. And I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this uh, Pepsi. I guess I'm just going to have to drink it all. <sighs> the water, if you guys can see, is un. Believable. First guest of the show of Doc Talk episode two, Mikhail Sergachev. A couple fans over checking it out. What's up, bud? We're on the live, everyone. Me and Mikhail Sergachev. So. The way you, we usually do this is like I uh, ask the fans for some questions yeah. and uh, you answer them. I, I will start off by saying that um, you are a huge inspiration for me, you know, <laughs> doing these Q&As. I would, every weekend I'd watch you do a couple Q&As and I figured it was time. Um, really happy for the collab, you know, two influencers coming together. But uh, let's see if we get some questions here. Started. Thanks, bud. Did you? Yeah, I did. I did like so, so I think we could jump into this. Um, people were wondering if you had your cat with you because I know you you talk about your cat on social. Uh, yeah. If you could talk about your cat a little bit, maybe. No, I, I couldn't bring it. It's too hot. She uh, she would hurt herself. And uh, there's a lot of dogs outside. So, uh, but what kind of cat is it? It's a Bengal. Uh, she's two years old. Hey. And uh, a couple of guys have seen seen you walking your cat on a leash. Yeah, is and that fair to say? Uh, I do like once a month when she gets bored and she uh, gets crazy at home, and uh, I take her for a walk for like 25 to 30 minutes. This is my question: um, Where did you learn how to fight? Because a <laughs> lot of a lot of people, when I was telling them I was going to interview Sergi, they're like, uh, you know, he how many. How long did it take you to have your first fight in the NHL? Two years. Two years? Two years and crazy. since after your first one, it seemed like you were a little bit confident, right? Yeah, I, uh, like, first Did they teach you that? Is that like a rut? Teach you that in Russia or what? Uh, yeah, I had some uh, boxing training, but uh, I don't know. I was actually surprised that I beat up the first guy and the uh, you know, second guy. I was, just, I was just lucky, but yeah, I was surprised. Uh, did, it, uh, did it feel good that, uh, you know... To, uh, once you got traded from Montreal to uh, kind of beat up the captain of Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't beat him up, but, you know, like, obviously it felt good, but he fought and stuff. I'm just kidding. Shea, he's, a, <laughs> he's one of the toughest guys in the league. I think you might have got a little bit lucky. I don't know if you'd want to do that again. No, I don't. Um, yeah, you don't? Yeah. Cl disclaimer, he does not want to do that again. Uh, okay, yeah, so how are you training during quarantine? How about you just grab it? Yeah, I, I sure. pureled it right before. Yeah. So. Everyone wants to know how you're training, what you're doing in the offseason. Um... Uh, Right now, I'm doing like four times a week at my friend's house, and uh, you know, we're just doing legs and upper body, so uh, not much. And uh, doing yoga, I'm doing it with my girlfriend every other day, so uh, she's she's an influencer too. <laughs> we're gonna, you want to give a shout out to your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, follow my girlfriend, go to my page, Lisa, <laughs> Shelby, whatever. So. <laughs> Oh my god, plugging his girlfriend, I love it. Um, okay, so before, I got some gifts for you because, you know, I appreciate you doing this. I also wanted, yeah, you're great, man. I wanted to give a shout out to American Social. Um, 
in Tampa. One of our favorite restaurants and bars are doing delivery right now. Sir, yeah, I got some gifts for you, bud. I don't want to keep you too long. Just make sure I don't float away. Because you love cats and you go, you take your cats on walks, <laughs> I got you like a little cat fanny pack. That's the cutest thing. That's great. You could give that to your influencer girlfriend if she wants. I don't know if any if anyone saw Sergi's last Instagram video, you could go check it out. He needs a haircut, clearly. Really. No. no I'm doing like a heady, heady style. Copying heady. Either way, I got you a, a Union Studio little thing. And um, last but not least, the first official Doc Talk, Doc Talk shirt ever given. Show that. Wow. I know you're a pretty trendy guy, so you'll like the tie dye. Wear that. Maybe throw it on Instagram. Give your kid. Yeah. A little plug. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. All right, man. Thanks again. See you later. So those shirts will be on sale later. I'll have more info about that later. Off to the next. See you guys. Couple fans. It's growing the brand. All right. There's the Tampa General Hospital. Shout out to everyone on the front lines. Really appreciate everything you're doing. Um, thank you. How are you guys? People here are so damn friendly. All right, I'm about to rip it. My hair is terrible here. You want to get a shout out on the live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my buddy Rainier. What's up, brother? Where's the pizza? Oh, it's all gone, man. You want to do a race? You ready? I swear on my life that wasn't planned. Alright, now we gotta go to the next guest's house. You guys know where Girardi lives? <laughs> they know. The which one? Okay. Oh, nice. Good seeing you guys. Have a good one. A lot of families out here. Dan, Dan! Is that a little glass of wine? The retired. <laughs> yeah, which way is easier? Yeah, I'll go around there. He's only on his first glass of wine. Oh, there we go. Is that gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. Oh, oh, oh you hate to see that. Maybe get someone to clean those up. All right. Dan Girardi, everyone. Hello. Appreciate you coming on the show. Hey, anytime, buddy. One of the most highly requested guests that we've, uh, I gotta, we've I had. I got a confession to make. I have been watching from inside. I uh, watched Sergey. Kids are watching you come over here. They're pretty jacked up right now. They're pretty fired up? Okay, oh, yeah. good. Are they in there? Oh, yeah, they're, Maybe they're, tell them come to come out. out here if they want. Yeah, they'll come out. Okay, best. That's a good question. Best prank you've ever pulled or best prank that you've ever... Um, seen the NHL. I'll give you, I don't know if you want to, I, okay. we pure the phone, so. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've seen one in the AHL, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a shout out. Oh. Dog talk shout out. Where are we? Uh, he's, see something? Oh, he's scared oh, just now. a dog. He's a dog. Just a dog. Um, we were in the American Hockey League. Uh, Brandon Dubinsky was a rookie with us and myself and Callahan. And one of the vets uh, cut the toes off of his dress shoes so they would flap. But they had these tassels on there, and uh, he really enjoyed these shoes. But uh, 
he cut the soles out of his shoes or something, so his toes went right through. And he was so mad, he threw a fan in the room and didn't come on the team bus. We were in Portland. And he didn't come on the team bus. <laughs> and then we drove by him. He's on a park bench just sitting there stewing. So I thought uh, that was probably the, one of the better ones I've seen. And I think another one is uh, Sean Avery, maybe. I don't know if it was Cal. You can, I don't know if he's going to ever be on this, but um, if you have a chance to ask him. I don't know if he sewed his pants shut or someone's pants shut, their dress pants got shut. You know, the legs got sewn shut. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I really can't think of any. No one ever pulled anything on me, that's for sure. That's a pretty good one. The sewing and the the pants, the pant pocket shut, pant pocket too. and then you get your pants on, and then your phone your phone starts vibrating, and then you go to well, grab it, and you can't get in there. An influencer that's, like you, like you wouldn't be able. Yeah, to my phone's phone. off. The, you know, my phone's never Just stops ringing. Off. So, all right, how about we get two more? Fa- oh, that's a good question. There's some good questions here. Favorite memory as a bolt. Ooh. Landon. Have you ever come there they kids? are. What's up, guys? I'm here. Get the kids in. What's you guys up? are going to be on Doc Talk. Landon. Where's Shay? Shay, come on. There she is. Hi. Is he the best, the best hockey player? How old? 10 years old. 10 years old. That's is uh, state champs good? Uh, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> uh, so what were we saying? Oh, the, oh, best bolt memory. Oh, it's actually funny because you're sitting right here. My best <laughs> bolt memory is my overtime goal against Boston in the playoffs <laughs> where you that's threw good. it in front. And well, I actually, you thought it went off uh, the guy in front skate, the Boston guy, but it actually hit my stick. Um, but that that was definitely, you know, one of the top memories for me for yeah. sure. A playoff overtime goal, it can't beat that. Landy, you gonna say hi to anybody out there? Hello. Shout everybody. out to your hi. Shout out to all the academy guys at the school and, yeah. and yeah, first everybody. grade and fourth grade, and uh, all the Tampa Bulls guys. We miss all you guys and Hello. wish we could be out there with you. Hopefully, you even listen to this, so we'll see. Anyways, here's Killer. <laughs> <laughs> One kid was definitely listening, so oh, it's yeah, worth sure. it. Um, all right, so I don't know. This is pretty good. I want to do another question. We usually only do a couple, but I feel like these are some pretty good answers. Yeah, that, that game winner was pretty funny. I thought I scored. Everyone came to me, and you're yeah. a little bit pissed off I'm about like, it. I'm but like, it's I'm like uh, that hit my stick. That hit me. That, that hit me. <laughs> but it's all right. Um, okay. Let me see. One more question, then we'll let, it, we'll let you go. It's tough because, oh, I actually, I had a question. All right. Do you know, and I know you do, so don't say you don't, do you know how many block shots you have in your NHL career? Um, I don't know the exact Yeah, amount. you do. No, I don't. Don't lie. It's over 1,900. Uh, and where does, where does that rank you? Uh, it was first all time when I retired. Someone passed you? Uh, Seabrook passed me. Ah. But, fun, fun fact, if you guys want to. Check out the Guinness Book of World Records 2020. Um, I made it in there for the most blocked shots in NHL history. No big deal. Guinness Book of World Records, just saying. Yeah. Do you just have that book wide open when people it's, walk uh, yeah, into the front my, house? It's on my coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, what a warrior. I mean, I remember watching you block a shot off your head. I got a little worried there, but yeah, it's the way you played, fun. man. That's why guys love playing with you. And before we leave and before my jet ski breaks down, we have a couple. We have some gifts for you. Oh, nice. The most, the most classic joke about the oh, guy who plays hard. Look at these ankles. Look at those ankles. Oh my gosh. They have baseballs inside. So I need to grab on the ankle. Let me, yeah, let me grab on from the, the ankle. ankle. It's like a that handle. thing is like a handle. <laughs> okay. And then last but not least, the this, exclusive. This, this is a Doc Talk Exclusive Doc Talk tee. You, you know what? I have an extra one. So, and then you want I'm going to Hey, I'm going to come bring another one over, okay? You After? One. You can have that. One. We'll, yeah. we'll send it to you. We'll send a picture to you. Guys, show it. show the Doc Talk shirts. Show, show it up, man. Oh, Put it on, Len. <laughs> That's sick, buddy. Probably score a couple goals with that. Here, hold it up like that. Maybe a couple minuses too, though. There we go. We have You know what? Gee, that was awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it, buddy. If you ever hurting for guests, you know where I live, buddy. I know you're gonna. Be, I think you're gonna become the fan favorite. I can already tell. Right, oh, hey! Last question: Is it true that you signed in Tampa because Eiserman gave you a deal on this home? Uh, sorry, we ran out of time. We gotta go. No, it is. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm about to rip it to the next spot. Cameron Braid, yeah, Cameron Braid's gonna be on. Uh, he's gonna be on an upcoming episode. How are you watching it right now? 
<laughs> he's gonna be on an upcoming episode. Um, I'm gonna try to do a Bucks episode. I think with um, the signing of Gronk, Tom Brady was a little bit of a reach, but I think Gronk. I think we'll be able to. Get, I think we'll be able to get him. I don't want to promise anything to you guys, but um, I think we'll be able to get him. This is always a tricky part when it's a high tide. Look at that. People are asking, do I have a mustache? Maybe. The last guest for Doc Talk episode two, Ryan Cal. <laughs> Dude, what are you drinking? Is that a shooter? Ryan Callahan, everyone. I got. I always have to figure out how to navigate here. All right, thanks, bud. Thanks. Hello, up there, all you uh, cool cats and kittens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll start with that. Have you? You yeah. obviously watched that. Unbelievable. Okay, great documentary. Um, Callahan, not afraid of the camera on the NHL Network. He's um, does well in front of the camera. But hey, did so Carol Baskin? Do you think she killed her husband? Hot topic. I mean, that's the way it looks right now. No. I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, I didn't want to say anything. She lives up the road. I don't want to, you know, say anything. But uh, that was a good documentary. Are you yeah. watching anything else right now? Uh, Ozarks, season three, we're getting into right now. Nice. Yeah, everyone seems to be watching that. Um, before, well, the fans are going to have some questions here. Did you see G on the... I did. I saw, I saw the tail end of his. Yeah, he was pretty good. He's already been... <clears throat> People are already saying he might be the fan favorite, so oh, you could really? maybe overtake yeah. him. G but likes G likes the camera. There's I know. No question he's, there. he's actually he's, he claims to hate it, but yeah. he kind of likes it, kind of like me. <laughs> um, what do you, how do you feel? I'll give you this, so you could kind of say you could talk into it. But how do you feel about Gronk? Because Cali's a Rochester guy. Gronk's from Buffalo, right? Yeah, that area. So yeah. or close by. Close by. Yeah. How do you feel about Gronk coming down to Tampa? I think it's awesome. I mean, him and uh, Tom slinging it again. I think it's absolutely <laughs> awesome for the Bucks fans. I'm not a Bucks fan, but um, you know, to come out and see uh, Gronk and Brady again, the Bucks Stadium hosting the Super Bowl. I don't think it gets any better than that. Yeah. Um, are you going to be? This is just for me again. Before we get into the questions, are you going to be on the NHL Network anytime soon? I know they probably want you back, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a bit of a hiatus right now with everything going on, but. Uh, should be on again next year i will say it's pretty funny i remember when we used to play in the locker room you always used to chirp those guys on the nhl network and now you're one of them so that's just a little <laughs> funny observation but let's get into the questions so, okay so how about you killer how did you no, how dude. did you become this an is, influencer i told Terry, think, okay this is not a time for you guys i'm asking you the guys the questions you're not asking me the questions listen okay you get one question how do you feel to be an influencer now listen the sponsorships have been pretty cool. You see, we got spon Pepsi as a sponsor. We got Pepsi as a sponsor. Pepsi, American Social. We're welcoming a lot of other sponsors. I mean, we had to turn down quite a few also. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of people that were hopping on their uh, thing. Who All are you right. kidding? Yeah, I know. No one wanted to sponsor us. Okay. I will ask you a question. If you had to prank someone on the Lightning, someone that you knew that would just, it, it would get to them and... I feel like you prank certain guys a lot when you play for us. Who would you prank on the Lightning? Because you knew they were a little sensitive. <laughs> Is that even a question? You already know the answer. <laughs> Not only the fans do. Let them know. <laughs> Tyler Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tyler Johnson. We might get him on this episode, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll see. This is actually a good question. How does uh, Olympic hockey compare to playoff hockey? Um, to be honest, it's not even close. Playoff hockey is much more intense. Uh, being a seven game series, I think is the big difference. You're playing against the same team every other night. Um, but I will say the Olympic experience was probably my best experience of all of hockey, uh, to play on a world stage like that, especially the Vancouver Olympics. Um, you know, there's nothing like it. And I guess leading into that, it could be, you know, I, I definitely feel the NHL players should be at the Olympics. I feel bad for the young skilled guys that are, are missing out on that opportunity because, it's honestly the the best experience I had outside of playing in the Stanley Cup Finals, um, you know, in hockey. Yeah, I think most guys want to play in the Olympics. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'll get a shot at it being that I'm Canadian, but uh, yeah, not, you never not, know. Not, not do with the NHL, not going to... You would make a team, probably, right? That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't make... It's not... <laughs> regardless if the NHL goes or not, I probably wouldn't play, but that's beyond the point. Um, okay, 
Okay, this, I don't know, I know you've answered this question a million times, but the fans keep asking about it. Um, how did you feel when Brad Marchant licked you? What were your thoughts? Like, what, what went through your mind when that happened? I was a little bit excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was in shock, obviously. I mean, you know, it was a uh, scumbag move to do, is to lick somebody like that. And, um, you know, I was in a bit of shock like everybody else. I didn't know how to react. At the time, I needed shoulder surgery. I, my shoulder was taped down to my you know, my side, so I couldn't really get at them. If you watch the video, it's kind of awkward me lifting my right hand to try yeah. to get them. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it was a scumbag move, and uh, we got the last laugh out of that one. Yeah. Um, all right, Callie, man. Appreciate you coming on. We actually have some gifts for you going forward. Oh, I thought wow. you had your, your puppy out here. No. No, he's inside. <laughs> kind of like, we didn't want to bring him on. But that I mean, it kind of was one of my gifts, but it's fine. I was... Originally planning on getting a Wellington from a Welly, one of Girardi's beer yeah. companies, and giving it to you because I wasn't going to drink it, but he forgot to give me one. Oh, so some treats for the some pup. treats for the pup, and then like uh, nice. just show you with the doc talk doc quick. Talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate right, it. Buddy. See you, bud. Enjoy. Until next episode. Yeah. Right, See you, man. All right. There's a little bit left to go here, boys. I have a couple more things I gotta say. Look at the ducks. Okay, for everyone that tuned in today, um, just know that these Doc Talk shirts are going on sale live in the Tampa Bay store right when this uh, video um, is over, sorry. So these shirts are gonna be sold at the Tampa Bay store. Go there, buy them. A hundred percent of the profits are going to the Hillsborough Education Foundation. So um, there's a lot of kids right now that aren't in school. They're not getting meals. They're not able to um, to kind of participate in classes. They have iPads and stuff. The connection just went. Um, so all of the profits from these T-shirts are going to go to them. Go buy them now. They're the trendiest shirts um, in Tampa, maybe even in in North America right now. So grab those and then. Uh, Apologies to Tyler Johnson. We told you we were going to get you on the show today. Uh, you know, we just didn't have time. So uh, see you guys.